A continent with a land area of 30 million square kilometers and a population of 650 million. This is one of the many islands in the vast freshwater lakes on the African continent. And it is here that Angay lives with his family. Angay is 11 years old, and he's one of the millions of children and young people living in this part of the world. At first glance, his life might not seem very different to our own. Like his friends, he sings in the school choir, rehearsing traditional dances and songs. Later, he'll have to go to class at the island's one school, which everyone helps to maintain. G and G and Yes, any other word with G H. That is true, we can work and we can Let us go, we can walk. and But Angay's obligations don't end when he gets out of school. Like most of his schoolmates, if he wants to eat, he'll have to find some food first. Usually, he joins one of the fishing boats, working and learning the skills he'll need in the future. This might seem a simple, even attractive way of making a living. But the reality is quite different. The lake water carries a disease, schistosomiasis, also known as bilharzia. Schistosomiasis is carried by tiny flatworms, which pierce the skin and make their way into the bloodstream. Then they start to reproduce rapidly. The slightest contact with infected water can be enough to catch the disease. But the only way of handling the nets and catching fish is by wading into the shallow waters of the lake. Before they reach the age of 15, one net of every five of Angay's companions will have died of schistomyasia, malaria, or other diseases for which no medicine exists. When the lake is calm, the fish are plentiful and the crew can catch enough to feed them for several days. Like all the other members of the crew, Angay earns a proportion of the catch. He'll sell some of this at the market on the island where he lives. The price is fixed at about three euro cents per kilo and there's little room for negotiation. Any money he does make will be used to buy more food, utensils and clothes. Huh? 
Angie takes the rest of the fish back home to feed his family. No one here has enough money to buy even the most basic of refrigerators. And even if they did, there's no electrical power on the island. So the only way of preserving the fish under the strong tropical sun is to smoke it. This is one of Angay's jobs. <laughs> 